let's step into the unsettling world of the cosmos and cover some facts that could make your brain short circuit. 10. Voyager 1 will outlive the Earth Voyager 1 is currently the farthest human-made object from the Earth at a distance of nearly 24 billion kilometers or 15 billion miles away. It's already crossed into interstellar space, breaking through the outer boundaries of our solar system. And interstellar space is big. And on its current trajectory, the spacecraft appears to have a clear shot through the cosmos that will allow it to continue traveling for trillions of years years before it comes anywhere remotely close to a star. This means that long after the sun expands and possibly engulfs the Earth, this piece of human history will still be traveling through the dark emptiness of space. 9. The Real Shooting Stars We've all heard the old adage telling us to make a wish every time we see a shooting star, which are not really stars, but simply small objects burning up in our atmosphere. But shooting stars really do exist. Hypervelocity stars are a type of star that is broken free from its galactic home and can travel through space at speeds reaching nearly 2 million kilometers per hour. That's 1.2 million miles per hour. Stars like these are often the result of a massive galactic slingshot, where the gravitational forces around the supermassive black hole found in the center of most galaxies accelerate the stars until they have enough momentum to break free and begin their solo journeys through space. 8. Attacks from Space Our modern life, complete with cell phones, computers, and the internet, is dependent not only on the infrastructure we built on Earth, but also on the many satellites in orbit above the planet wirelessly connecting every corner of the globe. All of this can be threatened in a moment by the wild forces and energies traveling through the cosmos, whether gamma rays from a distant supernova, cosmic winds carrying countless charged particles, or a massive solar ejection from our own sun, the Earth could go dark with little to no warning at all. There's very little we could do to predict this, as it can happen at any time. Would we be able to handle losing all forms of communication in an instant? 7. An object so big it defies physics our home galaxy, the Milky Way, stretches out across 100,000 light-years of space, which seems like a pretty large object. But it's nothing compared to the largest structure astronomers have ever found in the universe. The Large Quasar Group, or LQG, is big. The smallest diameter of this object is still a staggering 1.4 billion light-years, with the widest point of the LQG reaching a mind-boggling 4 billion light-years across. Composed of at least 73 quasars, this object is so big that it literally breaks the conventionally held laws in the current field of astronomy. What would it be like to look at a structure 40,000 times the size of our galaxy? 6. Space can change your DNA Spending time in space can take its toll on the body. Muscle atrophy, spinal decompression, and losing calluses on your feet are only a small part of what can happen to you if you spend long enough out of Earth's atmosphere. NASA was able to determine some of the extent of this by taking a pair of twin astronauts, Scott and Mark Kelly, and running tests after one of them spent a year aboard the International Space Station. After returning to Earth, scientists were able to find out that not only was Scott now two inches tall, taller and had different gut bacteria than his twin, but his DNA also showed significant differences as well. And unlike the height change that eventually returned to normal, the changes in his DNA appeared to be permanent. The only conclusion was that the stress from spending too long in space causes the cells of the body to rewrite the genetic code, possibly in an attempt to handle this new environment. 5. Dark flow is moving galaxies. 
There's something that's sitting in the patch of sky between the constellations Vela and Centaurus, first detected by researchers at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. A group of galaxy clusters were moving towards this area in space at incredible speeds, named Dark Flow. The team believes that there must be something beyond our visual horizon that's generating that unusually powerful pull. But as of now, the team has few ideas of what it could be. According to their models, if it is a physical object, it would be a behemoth that should be massive enough to impose somewhat of a tilt on the universe, causing all this matter to fall towards it. But a megastructure like this shouldn't really exist in our universe according to the Copernican Principle, which has led some astronomers to theorize that this pull may be coming from beyond our universe. 4. The Long Galactic Year We all know that it takes roughly 24 hours for the Earth to complete one rotation on its axis, giving us a day, and that it takes 365 days for us to make a complete journey around the Sun. But there is another rotation that our planet makes as our entire solar system makes its way around Sagittarius A star that sits at the center of the Milky Way. This galactic year takes between 225 to 250 million years to finish. This means that the birth of our universe, the Big Bang, only happened 61 galactic years ago. The human species only emerged one one-thousandth of a galactic year ago. Dinosaurs went extinct just over a quarter of a galactic year ago, with life itself emerging on Earth 16 galactic years ago. What could happen over the next galactic year? Will we still be here? 3. Stars Can Be Reborn at the end of the lives of massive stars, their last dying breath is made in the form of a supernova, exploding and spewing its material far out into space, while its dense core remains behind. But this may not always be the end. Astronomers are now finding that sometimes, when a star goes supernova, it can also begin to suck in matter from its neighbors. And if it draws in enough material, it can reignite itself and begin its life anew. This cosmic defibrillation can theoretically happen again and again, creating a stellar heartbeat spanning millions of years. 2. Extraterrestrials may be scared. The Dark Forest Theory Based on probabilities drawn from things like the Fermi Paradox and Drake's Equation, many people have found themselves wondering if the likelihood of intelligent extraterrestrial life is so high. Why haven't we found any? Or why haven't any found us? Well, one theory called the Dark Forest Theory has a simple explanation. They're scared. There may be countless civilizations throughout the universe that pop up all the time, but if one gets advanced enough to locate another that's less technologically advanced, what's to say another more advanced civilization hasn't already found them? Not to mention the possible barriers in culture and language that could easily lead to tensions and disagreements. Would it be worth the risk of possibly drawing attention to yourself? Or would it be safer to fear other civilizations and remain isolated in the dark forest of the cosmos? 1. What life may be out there? If that theory is wrong and there are other civilizations out there that will contact us at some point, we may be in for a surprise when contact is finally made. For a long time, scientists focused their search for life on carbon-based organisms, their reasoning being that carbon-based life is very abundant on our planet, so why not on others? But experiments have shown that carbon is not the only element that can form organic compounds that give rise to life. Among the contenders are silicon, which can form stable bonds with some elements and may be more favorable than carbon under certain conditions found on some exoplanets. Ammonia is an extremely common compound that's found throughout our galaxy and dissolves organic and some metallic compounds, which could lead to some interesting chemistry in living organisms. In addition to this, the properties of ammonia-based life also allow it to exist beyond the understood habitability zones where liquid water can exist. Could Titan hold life within its oceans of ammonia below its surface? 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of our others like The Shocking Truth Behind the Mandela Effect.